What's going on everybody? So this uh, video is going to be dedicated to uh, Aquarius and Moon and Rising, a weekly general tarot reading of February, oh my god, February 16th to February 23rd, 2020. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, Oh my god and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase such um, another thing I want to tell you um, because I have dedicated to make them separate career and relationship unfortunately I will not have the time this week to do so and that's why we are jumping just into general but but just only for a that week so uh that being said the first card which marks the general topic of uh, your week aquarius that is to be the queen of cups followed by the next one here which stand as the uh energies which are feeding up the general situation here that is to be the page of cups followed by the next one here which stands as uh the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week aquarius and that is going to be the hangman Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here. And we do have the page of wands. Afterwards, it is what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people around. And uh, that will be the Ace of Cups. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance that Tower is offering to you, Aquarius, in term of the week, February 17th. It's February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Uh, that is to be the page of uh, pentacles so uh, a quite interesting one guys it does look like that uh, this week this uh, week itself or the reading uh, that we do have it's mainly gonna be focused upon you kind of like observing the circumstances around you that are happening and I will try to explain you why so we do have energies feeding up the situation which is here marked by the page of cups and when the page of cups appears as a energy surround it does point to that the subject that the energies are influencing upon starts becoming more prone to look at the grand overview the grand scheme of things rather than to be more uh, how can i say it stuck into the details of the situation and therefore uh, these energies are to force you around to start making some very crucial analysis analysis upon your current uh, relationship or upon your, your current job in life in general and it's very likely that uh, you are to change not behavior but you are to change um points of view of yourself you are to change positions as well in the sense of that you like that guy you don't like that guy anymore or you are thrilled by the project and you are no longer thrilled by the project and so on so it's kind of like it will be a fluctuations into the um how can i say it into the goals or into the standpoint in regards to the enterprises that you're taking and the question is however why all right that, that, that's always the question and with the page of cups as the energy the answer to that it is because you are going to start pushing more toward a things and people that are making you more emotionally satisfied than anything else so throughout this week it is where you observe the circumstances and kind of like pick points in what kind of enterprises moving forward into the future are going to make you more emotionally satisfied than before or going to make you more emotionally stable. Uh, for example, which one is going to present you better love than the other, which job is going to give you more opportunities than the other and so on and so forth and that forces the forces up the topic here which is the queen of wands uh, the queen of cups excuse me and the queen of cups as a, as a topic it is like a patiently waiting the right circumstances to form and uh, to come around and from there that you can you know take advantage of them that being said career wise this week is going to be quite so a productive one where you are to just do your job as you are supposed to do it and carefully waiting for the right moment for you to come around from which you can shine 
And in terms of a uh, social circle with the card and especially relationships, now the card here, the, the Queen of Cups, it does represent that there are to be either one person as the Queen of Cups. It does present a person, either one person or either one individual here, which will be willing, and not exactly willing, but let's say open here to share, uh, to share emotional status with you or uh, emotional content. Um, content with you now how you're going to recognize that particular individual here well first of all that will be always someone who is ready to give you a shoulder for you to lean on meaning that you can uh, literally share any kind of a situation with them verbally that is and you will face no criticism you will face no adjudication uh, you only going to face an understanding and if that person is not understanding you at least it's not going to criticize you as well and also that person is very very discreet now however uh, as we spoke about that this is a week where you're going to observe rather than act we are facing the challenges here, which is going to be the challenge of the hangman. And it's exactly that. Now the hangman, the sentence that the hangman goes by, it is that the skies that are once darkened are gonna be set into light again. And only thing you have to do in order this thing to happen, it is just wait. And uh, the hangman it is as well the card I love to see as a um, simultaneously test and a breakthrough upon once a, um, uh, upon one's life and so the way I see it throughout this week it is where the universe itself is testing you you know how suitable you are for the upcoming bright change that it is looming on the horizon here and uh, can you wait enough so the circumstances of the change actually form for you to take advantage of so being frantic and having uh, and giving yourself to the urge to just do something regardless what you are to do it is something that you need to resist on now uh, i do believe with the hangman here that there are to be um a circumstances around you which are kind of like screaming or are trying to present or are presenting themselves to you like a crisis and you will have that urge that oh my god i have to do something about it you know i can't just sit around and wait and watch the things happening in front of me without you know altering uh, a certain aspect of the situation however this is exactly what you gotta do you gotta just sit down wait around and observe you know what's the, how the environment is shaping and once the the week is over the environment the environment it will be shaped just as it has to so the change can come on the horizon because this is about the energies that we spoke about page of cups page of cups as um, a neutral card is always about preparing yourself and taking the appropriate position in regards to what kind of change is to come further down the road so further down the road so for you Aquarius you can't expect that something is to, um, uh, to once again to change aspects something is to happen not in this week this week is just the preparation for it but in a couple of weeks or in a month moving in uh, further into the future so the next one here it is um, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week and we do have a the page of ones now I don't see this card as a person in uh, such of a um, in such of a, a follow up. That card kind of like represents uh, the strength of your character and the strength of your uh, of your persona, if I may say it that way. So in that particular sense, the page of wands here points Aquarius that you that you are going to be gifted with a, a tremendous um, singular solo i don't know how to say it perseverance and strength it is because the page of wands it's it's yet to understand how strong it is on its own accord or by itself okay and for that particular reason here the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy it is that you will not gonna need anybody around to push your things through or to uh, take uh, how can I say it? A advantage for the future, um, fu for the future new enterprises that are come that are gonna come as the change kind of manifest in a couple of weeks or in a month coming around. Additionally to that, in a very um, in a very practical manner, 
the page of wands may represent a um, a good news that is to come around and that could be that could be your gift and blessing from the week one of the many okay for example a good news that you're gonna that you're gonna become a father a good news that you're gonna become a mother a good news that you have been approved for something you know a good news of something is gonna come around that is gonna make you very very content for moving forward into the future but above everything else when we're talking about gifts and blessings and the page of wands it is say about the um, uniqueness if that's a word in English of your character and as well of the way that you think in a sense of that you can expect many varieties of options available and ideas to start pumping into your head like a uh, like a bucket of flowers let's say and you get to you get to manifest every single one of them now however it does depend what kind of a change you are to experience moving down the road it will kind of like define the order of those uh, of those uh, ideas get manifested so what i can tell you here with the gifts and the blessings aquarius it is that you should not stop dreaming or you should not stop expecting i even if or, or as right now your dreams and your expectations kind of seems a bit out of reality let's say because the page is about also the lonely voice in the desert that everybody thinks it is ridiculous preposterous at certain points but eventually someone listens to it uh, and so the next one, it will be how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to give into people. And with the, with the Ace of one, with the Ace of Cups, excuse me, you're going to make an impression that you are a very happy person. And as well on an impression that mm, you are moving unscathed, you are moving untouched by the problems that are a, that, that everybody around is tackling with it is like you know you do have a problem around that kind of influence you or things influence you at certain point but it is not enough to bring you down that is because the um, ace of cups it is like the new circumstances one requires in order to kind of like transcend its daily reality into something much more ascendant than this so to become more happy in another words and as well it is where it is when you know the current problems that one has it kind of loses relevance at all so what i can say here it is that you are going to see exactly where the wind of change is blowing from and is going to and you are to understand that once the change comes all that I kind of you are concerning with at that point it will no longer be relevant at all so why you should concern yourself with it right now as it's not gonna have any expression in the future whatsoever and so if I have to give you an, an example here just to make my cross my, my point a little bit more clear across is say you have a problem in problems a lot a big problems into your career all right but you have uh, simultaneously you have recently signed for a, a better qualification and once you finish that qualification which you are seeing that you are very good at you are going to work something different something much better and so why you should concern yourself with the problems into your work right now is you're not going to stay in that work for much longer you know so similar situation it is what you are going to move through and once again we are going back to the uh, hangman where only thing that you have to do is just wait you don't you don't have to push yourself at all i mean you don't have to reinvent the wheel if we may say it that way and the last card here it is the guidance that tarot is offering to you and that will be the page of uh, page of pentacles and the page of pentacles it is about dedication it is about devotion towards a what creates a big content and big emotional satisfaction within you okay so just to summarize the reading here for your queries this week in uh, february 17th to february 23rd 2020 you are to see what makes you happy or you are to identify one more thing that is gonna make you happy and that thing is gonna manifest itself not in this week 
but further down the road into the future and for its manifestation you need to ded dedicate yourself to it and patiently wait so to happen either a career or either a relationship okay faithfully waiting for it while you kind of like resist it, restrain yourself of making stupid actions in order to force it because if you try to force it it's going to be a shade at the end so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly tarot general tarot reading February 17th to February 23rd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time hopefully until then bye